Hello, my name's Dr. James Gill and I work in the Long Covid clinic. One of the things that we must make sure that we're doing in the Long Covid uh, community and Long Covid clinic specifically is keeping up to date with the latest research. There's a very interesting paper that's come to our attention, published at the end of last year, with regard to patients with Long Covid who experience an internal vibration type symptom. This is something that we see in quite a few of our patients, but it's certainly not a high frequency uh, symptom. One of the reasons why it's worthwhile to highlight it is that it kind of defies a little bit of um, medical explanation. So we know that these patients have this feeling, this vibration sense, but at the same time it's not a fasciculation or a fibrillation. We can't see muscle units twitching, nor can we see the muscle vibrating uh, there. And when patients have nerve conduction studies, they almost always come back negative. But that leaves us with a patient that has these defined symptoms. Unfortunately, what this paper doesn't tell us is the, what's actually causing these uh, symptoms. But what it did is it looked over a, a large number of patients presenting um, with long COVID who also had these symptoms of internal vibrations reported. And it's found that those patients tend to be more unwell or uh, to have more uh, complicated um, uh, health journeys. So if nothing else, we're using this symptom, um, particularly because there is no objective test that we can trace down for it, we're using this sort of a, as a marker of severity. I don't want to say that a patient that says they have internal tremors, we're going to put more weight on, but I need to look at that patient in a different way compared to a patient who doesn't have that. So for example, a patient who is having shortness of breath, we need to go down all the approaches to determine whether or not they're affected with their lung function, whether or not it's a structural problem, whether they have uh, impacts with spirometry, you know, has there been fibrosis to the lungs. We need to identify what's going on with that specific symptom. We appreciate that when it comes to this internal vibration, so far we don't have a test that sheds any light on what's behind it or what's causing um, uh, these changes in this vibration symptom. But what we can say is this person is likely to be sicker than another long COVID person who isn't affected by that. Ergo, we need to make sure that we're looking under all the stones, as it were, to try and find you know, what potential areas of deterioration uh, that patient could uh, experience and try to find ways to potentially mitigate that if possible. And I think really this is highlighting the, the nature of uh, long COVID clinics. Um, we are still working through the baseline science behind long COVID, but um, the science, as you can see, is changing, it's evolving. Sometimes it doesn't provide us an answer, but it does give us things to look for, or in this particular case, things to pay attention to. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.